today this 60 years old male patient presented with complaints of uh, severe pain in the left eye for the last few weeks now according to him the eye has lost his vision six months back suddenly one day when he woke up from the sleep and doctors diagnosed him with ischemic vein occlusion and now he has pain in the blind eye when i checked his intraocular pressure was 40 millimeter of mercury and on, on and on slit lamp i found extensive new vessels on the iris also called rubiosis iridis now rubiosis is so extensive in this case that uh, i also found uh, vessels uh, crossing the pupillary margin and on the anterior capsule of the lens pupil is non-reactive with 360 degree posterior synex and on gonioscopy i found extensive new vessels in the angle as well as extensive peripheral anterior synex now this disease have got four stages the first stage is pre rubiosis in which there is the cause the risk factor retinal ischemia but vessels have not yet developed and if you treat the retinal ischemia at that stage the disease doesn't progress then the next stage stage 2 is rubiosis iridis with open angle and normal intraocular pressure tiny tufts of new vessels appear on the pupillary margin and there are no vessels in the angle in the second stage and also at this stage the disease is reversible if you treat retinal ischemia with extensive prp and anti vegf injection Duration of suppression of NVIs and NVAs with anti vegf injection is approximately 4 weeks. So in this time period, you have to treat the retinal ischemia extensively with panretinal photocoagulation. And also you have to treat uh, the glaucoma, uh, open angle glaucoma first medically with aqueous uh, suppressants uh, and if it is not controlled then you can go to trap with mitomycin c or shunts now stage four or the last stage is the advanced end stage with rubiosis iridis closed angle new vessels as we know from our previous videos are fragile abnormal leaky vessels due to absence of the tight uh, junctions and accompanied by fibrous membrane so contraction of this membrane results uh, in the formation of uh, peripheral anterior synex and ang angle zip shut closed now our patient is uh, at that advanced end stage and he had ischemic crvo as a cause of nvg or rubiotic glaucoma other common causes of rubiotic glaucoma or new vessel glaucoma are diabetic retinopathy proliferative diabetic retinopathy tumors irradiation ocular ischemic syndrome and chronic retinal detachments almost all the causes cause retinal ischemia now in our patient uh, who is uh, blind with pain the treatment is three folds you have to relieve uh, his uh, severe pain with oral analgesics uh, and painkillers um, and you have to lower down the iop with aqueous suppressants uh, then try with mmc and shunts and sometimes at that stage you have to perform dlc diode laser cycloablation or cyclocryotherapy to destroy the ciliary body to lower the IOP and then of course the third is to treat the cause to treat the to relieve the retinal ischemia that we have already discussed with anti vegf and laser photocoagulation or if uh, there is some other uh, cause uh, like carotid occlusive disease uh, or tumor um, or retinal detachment you have to treat uh, that cause 
so you have to treat the retinal ischemia you have to treat the pain and you have to lower the iop in new vascular glaucoma so new vascular glaucoma is a very important uh, disease uh, that comes practically as well as in the exams thank you very much